Checking your blood pressure at home is really simple and easy to do. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can do that so you can keep a track of your own health, whether you have high blood pressure issues or not. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. To check your blood pressure at home, the first thing you will need is a blood pressure machine. If you want a link to get to validated machines, have a look at this link down below. Alternately, have a look at the show notes and they'll be able to give you links to the relevant machines. These are the recommended machines to use in the UK. Ideally, you need to be sat in a chair upright with your legs uncrossed for at least five minutes before you check your blood pressure. Make sure the machine is placed approximately at chest height. Most machines have a sizing guide on them and make sure you've got a cuff that is the correct size for your arm. You may need a larger one if you have bigger arms. Then simply place your arm inside the cuff and line up the relevant sizing dot to the right place. For example, on this one, this white dot should be on the middle of the arm. Tighten the cuff, make sure it's still in the right position. And then simply, you need to press the start button to go. The cuff will inflate over the next few seconds. It may feel a little bit tight and it's really important to try and keep as still as possible as the blood pressure is being taken. Once you've got the readings, you then need to jot down the relevant numbers. Most machines will tell you what they are, but as you can see on here, we've got the systolic number, which is the top reading or the upper reading. We've got the diastolic, which is the lower reading. And then we've also got occasionally the pulse, which is often on most machines as well. It is the diastolic and the systolic numbers which are the most important. Jot these down unless your machine's got a memory and you know how to use it. Then after five minutes, repeat the blood pressure again. Take the average of the two readings and that is the one that you need to mark down for your records. Ideally, you should be checking your blood pressure roughly the same time every day. Certain things will push your blood pressure up, things like stress, caffeine, salt, smoking, alcohol, and various other things can also have an impact. If you are taking medication for your blood pressure, it's generally better to check your blood pressure just before you've taken those medications in the morning. What is a normal blood pressure? Well, the textbook normal is 120 systolic over 80 diastolic, although the acceptable is anywhere between 140 over 90, unless you're doing an average, in which case it should be 135 over 85, and it's the same for patients with diabetes. If you're regularly having results higher than this, then you need to be contacting your local practice team for advice on what you need to do. In terms of feeding that information back to your regular practice, but this might be something that you can either do through an online consultation or submit it through the practice website or the NHS app. Do inquire with your reception team at the practice for the best way to do this, as this may not need an appointment. If you want more information on how to monitor your health, check out some of these videos right here. Alternately, you should probably recommend another one for you right here. And if you found this useful, leave me a like or a comment down below.